Hey, this is Ashley James for Foyer Neo. I'm just going to go over a couple of really quick things about Neo and just how it functions. So when you first log in, this is your main page and you have all of your projects here. There's additional little quick video tutorials on the top just to go over some basic functions if you get a little lost. Chatbot is right here. We do have someone available Monday through Friday to take care of you. You can also um, email customer service through the help part. Now, when you create a project, you would hit create project, name it, add the project. I'm going to go ahead and jump down into this one bedroom master suite that I have been creating for y'all to show you how to use Neo. Now, when you first open a project, you're going to have a blank canvas to work with. You can easily draw a room with the room tool. It's just an easy block. You can add on additional rooms to that just like this. You can also just draw single walls. Whoops, <laughs> that works too. Now let's say this is like an interior wall. You can click on that, hit edit properties, and you can change the thickness of the wall if you need to. Now it's a nice little thin wall. Um, you can also change the fill of a wall in 2D mode. So let's say you're working with an electrician and they need to know what wall is hot. You can change that to red to show them. You can also change the height of the ceilings. Right now they're set at a 10 foot default, but you can also change that as well. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the canvas because I'm gonna show you how to upload a floor plan. So from here, let me see, where are my floor plans? Take a look at this master suite. Now you can very easily crop this entire image. So if you're working with an entire like floor plan, you can, you can open this box up and do the whole space. That is no problem. Basically what you want to do is you want to fit all of your walls in. I'm going to zoom out a little bit that you want to use, but I'm actually just going to crop out the bedroom because that's the only space I'm going to be working with right now. You click next. And then these are your magic little bubbles, the magical bubbles that will scale your project. So I'm going to drag them from one side to the other, and you just need to know the one dimension. So from here to here, that is 14 feet. You can also change your unit of measure. Done. That's going to pop up. And when that pops up, you're going to need to trace over your walls. Since this is an easy box, I'm just going to use the room tool and put it on right here. Now you can continue to adjust. So I want 14 by 15. Almost perfect. I'm so happy. I'm going to drop into background plan mode so I can drag my floor plan out. Now your floor plan, you can delete it or you can keep it. I like to keep it because we have a ruler tool right here and that can help us know how wide the windows are, the doors are, the distance from the windows. And then you can, you know, use it over here as well when you're placing things. Next up is going into your catalog. I like to enter in all of our doors and windows first, and there's always something new. Our catalog is massive. We have uh, um, over 10,000 pieces um, that have already been modeled in here, and all of those pieces can be edited. You can change the texture, the color, the shape um, to make them fit perfectly in your designs. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop. Oh, you know what? I need to be in floor plan mode. Dun, 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 floor plan mode. Drag and drop, drag and drop. And I've got windows already saved to my short list that I've pulled from my catalog. I'm going to go into 3D mode now and check my placement. And that is loading. There we go. Doors look good. Windows typically always start at the floor because we want you to be able to place them where you want. I'm just changing it that way. You can also click on it and you can see the AI highlighting to show me that these are aligned together. Very cool. All right, I'm going to go back into 2D mode and I'm going to go back to my shortlist because I've already chosen furniture. Here is my bed and my side table. I'm only going to put one because I want to clone it so that when I change up the texture, and colors of my side table, they change together. Just saves you a little bit of time. I'm gonna click on the bed and change the rotation this way. I'm gonna flip it. There we go. And I'm gonna do a slow rotation with my side table. And I'm gonna clone that. Boom, easy peasy. 
place you there, place you right here. That works for me. I go back into 3D mode so I can see where everything is. And I've actually already saved a ton of stuff from our catalog. We have so many different pieces in there that have already been modeled, different textures, wallpapers, colors. Sherwin-Williams has come on board, so we are in the process of uploading their entire catalog. But you can also pull 2D um, visuals and textures from online to upload to your space as well. So if you're working with a specific vendor or manufacturer, you can upload that fabric swatch or that paint chip um, or whatever it is that you're specifically working with your client with um, or potential resident with to give them what they're looking for. I place those frames right there, that book right there. Let's put these pictures right here. And just like I was saying, you can drop in different textures. You can even drop in a photo into this existing photo frame, which is equally cool. And there's that. Let's throw some flowers over here. And I'm going to check placement of things. I'm going to edit this window covering. Make that 13 feet. That nice and big. I'm going to move this rug over. I'm going to rotate that a bit. Get that where I need it to be. That looks fine. And I'm going to go into my lighting options that I've already saved. There we go. Now I'm going to clone him as well because I'd very much like to change the textures at the same time. All right, come here. There we go. And you'll just kind of get used to how you move things around. Um, what kind of you know pieces you like to use and again the catalog is always changing so you will definitely be able to find something that will work for you in the space that you're designing and the next thing i'm going to do is apply different textures to the space i've already saved these uh, sherwin williams different colors i like to use the elder white on the walls this is a very neutral room and the incredible white on the pillows and the sheets. Put it on this blanket too. A little bit of pink on that throw. We'll put some of this pretty brush gold color on the side lamps and this different texture on the side tables. And as you can see, they're both changing at the same time, which is always fun. And today I'm going to go with the herringbone on the floor. I'm going to scale that by hitting shift on my keyboard, clicking on that, hitting edit properties. And I like a six to six ratio for this texture. Again, you'll just kind of find what works best for the textures for you. Put some vanilla sky on that. And elder white on that wall. All right, now I'm going to go into 2D mode because I want to go to the ceiling view and I'm going to apply my chandelier that I have saved right here. What's great about being in ceiling mode is now you can see the exact dimension. So if you want to get it perfectly centered, you can. I like to have a little off kilter and go back into 3D mode. Now, if I wanted to change the texture, change the metal color of that lamp, that I just added to the ceiling, I could. I could continue to move it if I wanted to as well, but I'm happy with that placement. All right, I'll go into walkthrough mode now, and I'm going to place where I want my view to be. Now I'm in. All right, I like that look. I'm gonna hit lighting over here. We're gonna go for evening, white low intensity with a nature environment. I'm going to hit render. 4K ultra fast. Now this is going to pop up and it's going to say it's being rendered. This will render in less than 10 minutes and it will continue to render in less than 10 minutes even if I go back to continue working on this project or if I open up a different project to start working with it. You can check the uh, visual of where you're at in the render process as well. Now I've already done this a few times because I've shown people like how to use it. So I'm just gonna download this render so you can see the quality of how that looks. 
me open that up and boom. So this is great because you can always go back and, and adjust things like I would adjust those curtains, make them a little bit more flush. I used a different floor in this one. You can see we have the AI already built in. It's going to show what's going to glow, where shadows are going to be, all of that. Now, Neo is awesome <laughs> because you can do multiple things with it. We also have an inspiration gallery. You can apply one of these inspirations to a project. Um, all of these images have been rendered in Neo. Um, if there's something in this image that you like, you can just click on those, those elements. You can add them to your project. That'll immediately go to your shortlist. If you like everything in this photo, you can add all of those pieces to your shortlist. Um, and then a lot of our images actually give you an option. You can add the entire picture as a room to the project that you're working on. Um, so that's an option as well. Oh, that's beautiful. So we can also offer like additional, like partial exterior options. All of my renders are here. They will live in the cloud. These are different projects that I've worked on. You can do kitchens and bathrooms. We're constantly changing up our, um, our catalog and adding additional things, some outdoor elements. Uh, we even have a cat. <laughs> and um yeah it's just neo is a seriously fast really really useful tool it's going to change the way you design the way you market um you are in full control of all of this and uh it's also going to help you sell we're already at 25 percent completion so i won't wait for the end of that i'd love to schedule a, a tutorial with you um if you get started with your 14-day trial uh, we can talk about more on how to use Neo and how it best will serve you. All right. Thank you.